What does God have in mind for this place? Why did they call? Why did he call Dave and Mary Jo to this place? And how long can this world ignore the existence of their creator? Yeah. How long until an atheist is extinct? Till people know he exists and the choice that's presented to them to receive him, to trust him, to welcome him or reject him. Creation conference, and I'd never seen anything like this. I'd grown up in the church, but by default, by growing up in the culture, I was an evolutionist. I just assumed that's that was true. Um, but these guys opened my opened my eyes to the information that I've been denied my whole life, and it really changed my outlook. It changed my Christianity and the things I believed. So, I really thank you guys for. For bringing that to me and I, I was hooked on creation at that point. I, ever since then I've just been devouring all the information I can get my hands on. I remember you ever heard of the resonation of the spirit you know where you just your heart just knows that they're speaking truth <clears throat> and it's like it's like it's like a drink of water to someone that's thirsty you know that's what I that's the way I felt about it. I needed that. I needed the, the needed to know that thinking people thought that this is reality, you know. And it did. It, it, it resonated a lot. The one thing, even beyond that, though, that I've noticed is this whole conference is everybody is talking about how great God is, how great the things that He's accomplished is. Nobody is talking about how great Dave is, nobody's talking about how great Mary Jo is, and I think they're great, but I think the great thing about them is they're not talking about how great they are. They're talking about how great God is. Yeah. And I think that's the point. <laughs> and so he said, it's five simple things. First of all, God is infinite. Second, he's personal. Third, he's benevolent, he's loving. And he's the uncreated creator. I thought, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and I was, I was going to take him on. He said, here's what I thought. I thought he'd give a big lecture on creation versus evolution. He says, here's what I think. In order to believe in evolution, you had to believe that simplicity plus time plus chance equals complexity. And I thought, yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> Can you imagine your brain got so bad that you thought, yeah, that's how it works? <laughs> and he said, I could never buy that. And I thought, but wisdom is the better father of valor. So I didn't take him on in class of 100 people. And I thought, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard about that subject. Nothing plus time plus chance equals complexity. Doesn't happen. I was a mechanic by then, or an apprentice mechanic. I thought, nothing you do as a twist and a wrench works unless you do it right. It's all cause and effect. Changed my life. And I never had a migraine headache after that lecture. It's like being here in the Word of God and getting healed at the same time. So thank you to the Nuttics when we can. We've learned so much from you and, and gained so much through the body of Christ in this valley. It's, it's been incredible. So thank you. And um, I'm always, my life has never been the same since. I, uh, when we moved here, I rode with, back and forth to the office with Dave and that gave me a chance to ask him questions. There and back, there and back. What about this? What about that? And so it's been great. So thank you. Um, thank you, David and Mary Jo, for changing our lives. Okay, go ahead. One thing that I would like to uh, stress, I think, is that um, I, I've seen ministries that are out there to, to um, how do I want to say this, to prove that they're right. But that is not what I believe about Alpha Omega Institute and, and Dave and Mary Jo. I think it's about changed lives. I think I've known them for a long time. It is it is truly about changing lives. And that's what I appreciate most about them. Thank you. But the really the really neat ones are the are the young earth Christians who have been quietly keeping their little belief secret from everybody. <laughs> and I mean one one guy when I showed it to him he's practically jumping up and down. And, and, and his friends hadn't come down. They were up in the overlook. 
And, and he just, he said, that's it. And he took off to go get him. He's going to drag him down here to see it. But, but the interesting thing was, is this, and I don't remember this, this woman's name, but she, I believe was head of research at Georgetown University, one of the universities back East in the human genome department. So she was very directly and indirectly connected with this study. And I just never forget a question was asked about the human genome. And she answered this way. She said, the Bible is in fact the truth. And she said, we have studied this human genome as far as it can be studied. And she said, everything you see in terms of human anatomy and all of our expression, all the proteins is only 10% of the human genome. The other 90%, she said, it's a code. It's of a spiritual code that will never be deciphered. It's not possible. She said, it's of spiritual nature. We've known that, we can prove that, and it's a fact. It will not be talked about, but that is what we've discovered. I so I wanted to share that tonight to talk about, you know, when creation, when God says, I created man in my image, that's a fact. <laughs> Amen. Lenny and, excuse me, <laughs> Lenny and Marilyn were up there and they gave a puppet show. <laughs> Just awesome, absolutely awesome. Awesome people and uh, I, I came up to him afterwards and I said, where is Alpha Omega? This is amazing, this is absolutely amazing. They said, Grand Junction. I said, what? <laughs> no way, Grand Junction? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah way. It's, it's over in Grand Junction here. And, and so they got, in, got me in touch with uh, the nuttings here and uh, you know, just started working with them and, and uh, talking with them and stuff. <laughs> And just realized, you know, that, that this is what I'm going to do after I retire. And I did. I retired. And so now I've been helping uh, with that. But you never know where the seed is going to bear fruit. You never do. And so I'm very thankful for the faithfulness of each and every speaking team. And I especially, especially want to bring up Lanny and Marilyn. Just amazing ministry, amazing impact to children, adults throughout their careers. Just amazing. Thank you.